Hi, I'm AJ and thanks for taking the time to check out this video. If you're not a current subscriber, make sure you hit that subscribe button down below. Hit the like button because you're really going to like this video and also hit the notification bell so you'll be notified the next time I create a video. So today I just wanted to make a quick video. I actually posted my first blog post on my website at ajmobilemoney.com slash blog. So I posted it on Memorial Day when I initially scheduled it to be posted. I totally forgot that it was a holiday, so I didn't really want to talk about it on that day. You know, I was spending time having fun with uh, my family and friends. And so now I just wanted to put a little plug in for my blog. Make sure you check that out. My first blog post is really talking about uh, why people are afraid of creating a budget. So within that blog post, there are three main themes that come up. And so uh, when writing this blog post, it was after speaking with several people over, over the years and they would talk about the reasons why they don't create a budget. And these three themes would always seem to come up. It would be future, fear, and time. Now, in speaking with these individuals, friends, families, random people, those specific words didn't always come up. But when you think about what they actually said and the actions that they took, these are the main three themes that came up for all of them. So I'll go into a little bit of detail here. I go into much more detail on the actual blog. So make sure you check out my website. Um, the link will be in the description down below. So the first theme was the future. And we put a lot of trust in what's going to happen in the future. And we're really not even promised tomorrow. So we know as either hourly workers or even as a salary worker, you know, you get paid every week or maybe every two weeks or about monthly or monthly. And you have the expectation that you're going to make a certain amount of money when that time comes. So many times what we will do is we'll spend money now because we know in our heads that a week from now, or at the end of this week or at the end of the month, we're gonna have a certain amount of money and that the money that we're spending today is less than what we expect to receive once we actually receive our paycheck. The problem with that is if you're not actually writing those transactions down or monitoring them or finding some way to keep those calculations in check, then what you're going to do is you're going to end up spending more than you're actually going to receive on your paycheck. So when you're you're at the store and you see something for five bucks or maybe something here that's twenty dollars or, you know, something that you want to spend that's a hundred dollars. And over the course of days or a couple weeks, you end up spending more money, even though you're like, OK, I know I'm going to have an extra five hundred dollars once I pay all of my bills or maybe about that much. And then you end up spending more than that $500 because that $20 here and hundred dollars there over that time period usually ends up to add to more than you're actually going to have. Or even if you spend less than what you planned on having, maybe you didn't have an emergency and now you have to spend that extra $500 or extra $200 or whatever the case is on that emergency because you didn't plan based on having savings or things like that. So the next major theme that comes up when I speak to people about their budgets is fear. Most people don't want to have a physical representation that shows that they don't have enough money. So if you know all of your debts, all of your bills, all of your expenses are going to cost you every week or every month more than you actually make, most people don't want to see that written down. And so they'll say, oh, I already know that I don't have enough money to do this. So there's no need for me to write it down. And like, I already know I don't have enough money. But do you know exactly like how much money you don't have? That is the question when you're writing your budget. And maybe you might actually have enough money, but because you don't think about it, you don't write it down to see what you actually have. You end up spending more than you have because you're like, oh, I know I don't have enough, but you know, I'll take care of it later. And then that goes back into that talking about what you're going to do in the future. And so by avoiding creating that budget and figuring out exactly how much money you have, how much money you're spending every month and, you know, keeping an average by tracking it in applications like uh, Mint or maybe personal capital, you end up just pushing it back and that fear, which is really what it is, ends up actually putting you into more debt and creating a cycle of debt. And trust me, it was something that I dealt with as well. Um, actually, in my blog, I talk about how, you know, when I first graduated from college and I had a lot of student loan debt, I didn't really want to look at my total student loans to see how much I owed because I know that it was probably going to make me either sad or mad or whatever the case was. And I just didn't really want to see it. But it wasn't until I actually 
paid attention and instead of just looking at you know the actual bill that i had just looking at the totality of all the debts that i had and that's when i really started doing things to side hustles or you know looking to increase my skills in order to make more money so that i could really start attacking that debt and the third category was time everyone has 24 hours in a day but many of us will talk about how we don't have time to do something and because we all have the same amount of time and we have different people that are using their time in different ways it's really what you decide to do with your time that determines how much time you have and creating a budget really doesn't take that much time in fact you already know how much money you make especially if you're at a salary job you know exactly how much you're going to get paid every two weeks or every month so you don't have an excuse for that part with your expenses, it's easy if you use credit cards or if you use a debit card, you can use an app like Mint or Personal Capital and it'll automatically track those things for you. So you don't even have to take the time to write those things down. All you have to do is take the time to open the app, connect all of your accounts. That way you can see all of your transactions in one place and then they will do most of that work for you. And then just the concept of not having enough time. Again, like I mentioned, everyone has the same 24 hours in a day. Uh, most people work uh, eight hours per day, you know, the 40 hour work week. That's the norm for most people. And so that means you have, if you have an hour break, that's nine hours taken out of your day. If you have a commute of, let's say, 30 minutes to work and another 30 minutes to get back home, that's another hour out of your day. So now you're you're down 10 hours. You only have 14 hours left. So you, al you also you have to sleep. So maybe you sleep six to eight hours that if you're sleeping eight hours that leaves you with six hours in your day to do everything else that you need to do so that includes cooking maybe cleaning taking a shower if you have children getting your kids ready for bed or getting them ready for school you know these are all things that you have to plan for and then whatever time you have left over out of those six to eight hours per day that's the time that you use to create your budget plan for the future, uh, work on different skills so you can increase your pay or work on a side hustle so you can have multiple streams of income instead of relying just on your day job. So these are the three major themes that when I speak to people about creating a budget or about their budgets, these themes always come up and I go into a bit more detail on my blog. So again, make sure you check out my blog post. It's at ajmobilemoney.com slash blog. And of course, I'll have a link down in the description for you to click. That way it'll make it easy for you and you can check that out. So this is my first blog post. So I'd really appreciate you commenting not only on my video here, but also leave comments on my blog. Make sure you subscribe to my email list so that when I create blog posts in the future, you will be updated via the email list but you can also check out my youtube page i will post updates here as well to give you just a little peek inside of any blog that i make on that website all right thanks again for taking the time to watch this video i really appreciate you taking this time out of your day you really could have been doing anything with the time that you have in your day if you're not a current subscriber make sure you hit that subscribe button down below hit that like button because you really like this video and hit the notification bell so you can be notified the next time i create a video again thanks for watching this video you guys have a great day thanks Thank you.